Hello! The unboxing of the Röde NT-USB was a great experience, but in this video we will have a look at how it is to set up, if it's easy to adjust the gain in Windows, and if there is any latency when recording either if you're streaming or uh, recording yourself playing an instrument for example. So for the setup process I have connected the USB Type-B cable underneath the Rode NT USB microphone and routed the cable between the legs of the tripod and put it on the, this little table here right in front of me. So now we can see my screen recording and uh, I just opened sound settings in Windows 10 and this is what we can see then. You see I haven't connected my microphone yet so I will do that now. I'm just going to plug the USB cable into my laptop and see. Okay, it detected right away. And we can see here it put the rod in on the output and the input. So I guess that the output side here is regularly for speakers and your headphones. This is so that you can control the headphones you connect to the microphone when you are monitoring what the microphone hears. And below here we can see the input and here we see that yeah, the other microphone is selected. The other one is the built-in microphone in my laptop. And beneath this we can see test your microphone. Here we can see that the microphone picks up some noise when I'm speaking now. I'm not recording on it, but we can see what, what it can hear. And now I am speaking right into the pop filter on the microphone and we can see that it detects some sound. But I guess we have to Put it up some more because this isn't good enough for any recording. So to do this we open the device properties just between the input and test your microphone. We have device properties and it will open this window. Here you can rename your microphone if you want that or disable it. But what we are interesting in, interested in is the volume. And I haven't done anything to this, so when I plug in my microphone to the, to the Windows machine, it sets it to 51%. As we saw, it was way too low. So let's try putting, a, putting it up to, let's say, 100. And see what we get then over here. So now I am speaking at the same distance as uh, before right into the pop filter of the microphone and we can see that it's maxed out all the time. So we should maybe lower it some. Let's go down in increments. So let's try to put it on 90. Oh, come on, I want 90, yeah, okay. So now I am speaking at the same distance again and it's kind of all over the place, maybe, yeah, I think that is fine because I'm speaking louder than I would normally do into the microphone now. I don't know if you can pick this up, but now I'm speaking at a much lower volume, which I think is the correct volume to speak into the microphone and we see that. It lays around, yeah, it doesn't max out all the time, it, yeah, so I think it's time to test. And to test the microphone, I like to see it uh, visually and then, then I use Audacity. This is an easy software to record anything in and as we can see here, we have a microphone. This is a built-in microphone. Can we choose the, the microphone? Yes, we can. 
Okay, now that it's uh, selected, then we can just press, press the record button. <clears throat> and now we can see that it is connected. I am now speaking through the Röde NT USB microphone. And I'm curious if the sound quality is any better than before. Before I used the built-in microphone on an iPhone. There may be a lot of uh, echo because I'm currently in our new studio and there isn't much things here yet. We are working on it, but I hope it's good enough so you get an impression of what this microphone sounds like. I will now do a test of both microphones. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And now that I have done this test, I will just stop the recording and save it later. And I will review the footage uh, in a later uh, comes. And now we will test the la latency of this microphone. So now I am recording with a web camera I have connected to my laptop. I am also recording with a red NT USB uh, microphone and I have connected my headphones to it as you can see oh, yeah, you can see the cable here if I do like, yeah like this just a monitor so I now hear my voice uh, through the microphone and I do this test to check for latency between the video output and yeah my voice so that it doesn't any latency there and I will, I will do a clap just to test yeah the latency <laughs> okay and now I will take a look at the footage to see if there is any latency so that has been the process of both setting up the microphone and testing its latency I was wondering if the setup process gave me the same impression as the unboxing and it's really easy. I had some thoughts about the latency and there wasn't any that I could notice. I reviewed the footage time after time and there wasn't any. So that's perfect. So in my opinion, this is a perfect microphone if you want to record yourself, either if you're a streamer or if you are a musician or you like to record your own voice either if you're singing, doing podcasts, or whatever. And don't forget, if you're interested in this, in this product, we have a link in our description. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. If you have any questions, comment below. And yeah, have a good one!